It's gonna be a long day for you, man. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel, Captain SQ, where we're going to discuss on EBA systems, emergency procedures, and supplementary techniques on how to fly the plane. A320 green and blue hydraulic system failure, steps to take, and additional useful information. Disclaimer, always refer to your company manuals, this video is merely a guide. Before we start, do smash the like button, comment and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. Okay, let's dive in. Hydraulic green and blue low pressure. This double hydraulic failure is an emergency situation with land as up in red displayed guiding you to land at the nearest suitable airfield. A mayday call should be declared to ATC and all ECAM actions should be completed prior to the approach. Significant items to consider are loss of autopilot, flight control law degradation, alternate law, direct law, weight the gear down, and landing in abnormal configuration, flaps only, and landing gear by gravity extension. Initial actions, the first pilot who notices cancel the warning and announce title of failure. Pilot flying takes manual control of the aircraft and cancel autopilot disconnect warning. The pilot monitoring should review the system display and the overhead panel to analyze and confirm the failure prior to taking any actions. ECAM actions. PTU off. Green engine 1 pump off. Blue electric pump off. Remember it is a guarded switch so do ask for confirmation from the other pilot before switching it off. Flight control alternate law. Max speed will be 320 knots or mark decimal 77. Alternate law is indicated by the amber crosses on the PFD. Land SAP in red signifies a time critical situation which requires a landing at the nearest suitable airport at which a safe landing can be made. Pilot monitoring reviews all affected equipment in amber. Review the wheel page, take note of the items in amber. Review the flight control page, any extended spoilers will result in increased fuel consumption. Status, computer resets and checklist. Pilot monitoring reads the status starting at the top left hand side limitations, approach procedure, landing procedure, and information. Then reads the inoperative systems. Some fun fact, older aircrafts use the green system for nose wheel steering and newer aircraft uses the yellow system. Spoilers 1, 3, and 5 are inoperative which will affect the landing distance. The slats are inoperative and the flaps are slow to extend. The left and right ailerons are inoperative which will affect roll control and the left elevator is inoperative which will affect pitch control. Reversal 1 is inoperative. Landing gear is gravity extend with no retract. Normal braking is inoperative. Alternate brake with anti-skid is available but no auto brake. Emergency generator is inoperative and your ECAM actions is complete. It's gonna be a long day for you man. Situational assessment using QRH summary. Pilot monitoring locates the QRH hydraulic green and blue system low pressure summary. The pilot monitoring reads the cruise section of the summary. The cruise section helps in making a situation assessment. If an immediate landing is not possible, consider increased fuel consumption under operational data in the QRH. To calculate landing distance and V approach, refer to QRH in-flight performance or use EFB. The pilot flying hands control to pilot monitoring and uses green and blue hydraulic system low pressure summary, status and FMGS to prepare the aircraft and brief for the approach, landing and go around. GPWS flaps 3 on. Add 25 knots to VLS config full and select landing config 3. Next in line in the approach briefing in which you talk about the approach considerations. Approach consideration. Landing gear is gravity extended using the procedure from the QRH summary. No retraction of the landing gear is possible. Configure early as flaps is slow to extend. As only the right elevator is operative, pitch control is degraded. Selecting gear down puts the aircraft into direct law. This gives the pilot manual control of the THS during reconfiguration to allow more pitch control of the aircraft. The pitch angle on landing is less than normal. Reverser 2 only, the guidance is to select reverse on both engines. Consider using idle reverse for directional control. 
alternate braking with and disc skid. Let's go through the approach phase. Approach. At selected speed of 200 knots or green dots, select auto thrust to off. Lower gear using gravity gear extension checklist from QRH summary. Like I said earlier, selecting gear down puts the aircraft into direct law and it will give the pilot manual control of the THS to allow more pitch control of the aircraft. Flaps 1, select VFE next, minus 5, which is in this case 195 knots. Flaps 2, select VFE next, minus 5, 180 knots. Flaps 3, select VF, decelerate to VF, pilot monitoring reviews the status to check that all approach procedure actions are complete. Landing checklist, landing. As I mentioned earlier, the aircraft has a lower body angle on approach. Reversal 2 only, braking is manual. And that's it for A320 green and blue hydraulic low pressure. If you want to see more of this video, do smash the like button, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.